Another type of related rates problem is the lamppost problem. Uh, so in this problem, we have a six foot tall person who's walking away from a street light uh, that's 20 feet high at the rate of seven feet per second. So at what rate is the length of the person's shadow increasing? This requires a little bit of geometry that I think many of you have set up in a, uh, you know, in a pre-calculus course. So let's imagine that we have the uh, 20 foot lamppost and we have this six foot tall person and the lamppost has has a light bulb at the top. I'll just draw sort of like a light bulb. I know that just looks like a person with hair. It's a light bulb with the uh, it's the light bulb with the, the rays of light coming out of it, and the light bulb is casting a shadow on the person. So basically, this is the length of the shadow. This is the length of the shadow, and this is the distance that the person is away from the lamppost. So let's assign very uh, variables very precisely again, and let's say that x. I realize I'm using these, and usually we use x for horizontal and y for vertical. I'm going to just call them x and y, but even though they're both horizontal distances. So x is equal to a uh, distance between person and lamp post in feet. And let's say that y is equal to the length of the shadow in feet. So we can see here that this is going to be x and this is y. So we really just have two horizontal distances. And then t is time in minutes since person, oh sorry, not minutes, it's seconds. We're using seconds for this problem. Time in seconds since person started walking. Okay. so. Uh, the relevant geometry here is, uh, gonna, is going to be about similar triangles, as it often is. Like I said, almost all of these problems have something to do with geometry, often with triangles, sometimes with things like spheres or cubes. So we've got uh, that angle that's shared by both triangles. We have that angle. See, we have two right angles there. And uh, using uh, the consecutive angles theorem, we have these two angles that are congruent to each other. So we actually do have two similar triangles uh, that you can see. And what that means is that if I set up the equation, uh, actually I'll set up the equation a little bit later. Let's first write the rate the problem is looking for. Um, what we're asked is what rate is the length of the person's shadow increasing? So we're asking, since y is the length of the person's shadow, what we're asking for is how fast y is increasing with respect to time. So we're looking for dy, let's pick a different one. We're looking for dy over dt. Next find one or more equations that relate the variables. That's going to be the similar triangles equation. What we can see is that this small triangle here, let's put the small triangle in blue, the small triangle, um, the ratio of one side of one leg of this right triangle to another is y over 6, and the big triangle, which has those legs, and that hypotenuse is going to be uh, the equivalent leg to y is going to be x plus y. That's this full. That's the length of that leg, and that is the equivalent leg. And uh, the equivalent vertical leg of that triangle is 20. So this is the equation: y over 6 equals x plus y over 20. So we have. Let's see. Y over 6 equals x plus y over 20. We can solve this just by cross multiplying and solving for x in terms of y. So that gives us 20y equals 6x plus 6y. And that comes out to 14y equals 6x. And that's y equals 6 over 14x, or y equals 3 7 x. So now we want to differentiate. And as is often the case, we're going to differentiate with respect to t. So we want to write dy over dt. We have y in terms of x. dy over dt is going to equal 3 sevenths. Derivative of x is 1, and then we need to multiply by dx over dt. That's, uh, th this is again just, just an application of the chain rule. Um, if you want to do it a little differently, we could differentiate like this. We could write, let's see, we could write dy over dx is equal to, since y equals 3 sevenths x, we could just say that's 3 sevenths. And uh, then we could say that 
we can simply observe that dy over dt is going to equal dy over dx times dx over dt, canceling those. What that means is that this is going to be 3 7 and this is simply dx over dt. So that once again gives us 3 7 dx over dt. This just really goes back to like the very first, uh, before we even got to the word problems, uh, if you go back to the early parts of the video, you'll see we just did a little, uh, you know, algebra involving differentials, and uh, that's where we get uh, the equation dy over dt equals dy over dx times dx over dt. You can, you can construct those in that way, I'm making a mess of this line, but the point is that here we have uh, that's going to be uh, the, the equation that we need, dy over dt equals 3 7 dx over dt. So let's use the derivatives in step 4 to solve for the rate identified in 2. We're interested, of course, in dy over dt, and let's see what we're given in the problem. In the problem, we're told that the person is walking away from the street light uh, at the rate of 7 feet per second. Well, since the person is here, that means that the thing that's increasing is x, so what we're told is that the change in x per change in time is 7. In other words, dx over dt equals 7. We just get that right from the problem. So since dy over dt is equal to 3 7 dx over dt, that's going to equal 3 7 times 7, which equals 3. And of course, we are uh, operating in feet per second. So that's the answer. And once again, uh, I can't really show the whole problem because there's too much here, but I'll just put up the original problem so you can go back and forth and look at that if you want.